All right, we're back. Let me just just when I grab my uh, what you call it, my remote, all the way over there. Heartbreak, heartbreak, uh, uh, no ending. All right, all right. What the hell was I doing? Looking for Yuki. That's what I'm doing. And moving this wire out of my fucking face. Hi there, Dice Gay. I've just been leaving you guys hanging, huh? Yuki, you're here. Uh, Rize is gonna be back soon. Oh, hey, you. Seems Yukiko isn't busy right now. Isn't ready to advance? Well, you will be soon. Gotta, gotta get you and Chie going, you know, before Rize shows up. <laughs> you spend time walking around with Yukiko. You feel her... <coughs> what the hell happened? <coughs> you, feel your... God damn it. you feel your relationship is going to become closer soon. I was talking and then, like, spit went in the back of my throat. Hi, Nanako. How you doing? Bye, Nanako. Oh, wait. And, uh, I gotta study. Yeah, I'm gonna study. That's what I'm gonna do for the upcoming nights. I'm gonna study, study, study. We got exams next week, and I wanna be at the top of that fucking list. Studying red numbers. You read numbers. You read a number of dictionary entry entries that piqued your interest. Knowledge increase. Since you read studying methods, knowledge increased. Ba -na -ba 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 -na -na -na. Hey, Yuki. Hey, what's up? Today, if you have time, just if you got time, tell me. Bye. <laughs> But if you got time, you know, you got a little time, you just come, you know, it's got some time, you just, just, just tell me. Bye. She's out here stuttering like fucking Porky Pig. I'm sitting here, I'm like, T -t 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 today, Junior. <laughs> All right. Um, my mind just fucking went blank. I'm sitting here talking about fucking t -t -t today, Junior. Right? I'm fucking losing my mind. I forgot what I wanted to do. I wanted to head to the uh, bookstore. Hi, Marie. Bye, Marie. Short on cash. Ooh. Expert fishing. Alright, boost your reeling speed. Mm, I think I'll be fine without it. Catching bugs. Able to catch more bugs. I think that's just more quantity and not like the... The amount of bugs you're able to get. Um, English made easy. Over macho. Off today. Increase understanding. Uh, hmm. Expression. Helps more with translation. I'm not going to have time to read any of this shit. And I don't have the speed reading book unlocked, right? Yeah, so, just came to check, see what the hell was available for that. I'm going to lower my microphone, actually. In terms of position, I feel like I have my microphone too high. I was screaming at my microphone. Some heartache. All right. Got, like, two more days to make that model. Um. Yeah, also got me high school. All right, let's see. Sup? Seems Yuko isn't busy right now. Let's hang out, girl. It's you and me. Uh, Tatsuhimi Shrine. Uh, fuck. Tatsuhimi Shrine. Yuko seems embarrassed for some reason. Do you remember Kaisei-san? The waitress? She seems to have told everyone about you. Now they're saying I should bring you home. 
Adults are so quick to poke fun at me. Such a hassle, isn't it? But of course my family runs an inn, so guests come by all the time. Maybe next time you can just come in? Oh, Yuki-chan. Oh, the deputy mayor. The deputy mayor. Okay. The people at the inn seems very busy. Something going on? Huh? Oh no, today was the interview for the travel show. On TV? That's great. You'll try and make Inuba look inviting, won't you? Sorry, I gotta go. Oh, you're gonna be on TV? No, I won't. We requested that no employees be filmed or shown. It seems like a serious travel show, so everyone's eager to help. But they need me to help clean, so I have to go now. Yukiko looks apologetic. Goodbye. There you are, Yuki-chan. Uh-oh. Kaisei-san, what's wrong? Uh, that TV crew came, but don't go to the inn. It was a trick. A mean, dirty little trick. It's those people from that News of the Weird show. And I think they're looking for you, so stay put, you got it? Uh, okay, but... There you are. Oh no. No use in hiding. Future manager of the Cursed Inn. Cursed Inn? We know all about the murder case. Yayu- Uh, fuck, I can't even say the name. Mayumi Yamano stayed at your place, right? And you guys been hurting- Hurting? What? And you guys been hurting what with the drop-in visitors, huh? So I came up with a great idea. The high school manager's embarrassing struggle, renovating the Cursed Inn. How's that grab you? The customers will be pouring in, I tell ya. I don't understand what you're... I want you to be the star! When we introduce the hot springs, let us film a little bathing scene, eh? The modest manager's steamy service. Our ratings will be through the roof. Guys, she's not even 18. Fuck off. <laughs> you fucking weirdos. I mean, Japan's Japan, and they, you know, they got their rules. That sounds like a great idea. Listen, you. Anyways, please leave. We're not interested in your coverage. You're refusing? Look, kid. You don't know the power of television, do you? Well, I can't blame you, living in the countryside. You're trying to help- we're trying to help you out here. I mean, do you want the patrons to dry up? If you're gonna be the next manager, I'm trusting you to make the right decision here. I won't be the next manager. Oh, really? Hmm, is that so? Well, you just say the word and I can hook you up with a better gig than running this dump of an inn. You call yourself the former high school innkeeper. <laughs> I'm already liking the sound of that. Why don't you hear me out? How dare you say that to Yuki-chan? It's okay. Let him say what he wants. He'll go home once he gets it all out. What the shit? You say your inn has been going for generations, but all that means is it's crappy and run down. Tradition is so last year. You'd be better off if you did close-up shop. Wait, what? what? I, I just stroke. I had a stroke reading that. You'd be better off if you did close-up. Wait, what? You'd be better off if you did close-up shop. Mm. That sounds weird. <laughs> it makes sense, but if you did close-up shop. That makes sense, but it sounds weird. I don't know why. I've seen the stuff you serve. Small portions. Decent service. Nothing that stands out. If you want customers, you can't just do the same old old. The same old old. The same old same old. You guys don't get that. And that's why you suck. Your waitresses don't even give any extra service unless you tip them off. Hey, I know. Why don't you make all the waitresses young girls and have them do all day menus? You know, spread the futon out. Then go straight in. But anyways, I was saying... Let's give your place a little TV-style publicity. Use your head, will ya? The hell up. Huh? Don't say another word about our inn. Who take your stupid idea seriously? From now on, we refuse any coverage from your station. You bitch. If that's how you want to play it, I'll plaster those words all over primetime. See how that feels. Go ahead, by all means. 
and we'll respond with an official complaint to your superiors. This isn't sounding good, sir. Oh. Uh, man, I'm gonna go home. Mommy, she yelled at me. I said some incredible things. <laughs> Oh, I should contact the end. I'll see you later. I just kind of lost it when I when he was insulting everyone. Was I scary? You were cool. I love you. <laughs> really? Thank goodness. I love Yukiko when she's scary. That's the best part. There was a time not long ago when I thought it'd be better if it closed. But it's like my home. What do you mean it's like your home? It is your home. You live there. It's where everyone in my world is. I can't let it close. It seems Yukiko is starting to face her true feelings. You feel your... You feel your relationship with Yukiko has grown yet deeper. I need a fucking drink of water. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. <clears throat> oh shit, you learned Mudun. Thanks. It's now a medium chance. Great. Get rid of this. Okay. Can you stay here? Just a little longer. My heart's still racing. Please. Well, since you act so nicely. You stay with Yukiko for a while and walk her to the end. No problem. I am home. That is something that I did. I have come home. Food is in the fridge. Cool. Ooh, and I got the armor. Now, who's that armor for? Not for me, right? Yeah, no, it's for the girls. Yeah? Okay. Well, hmm... Here you go, Yuki. Yuki? Do I wanna... Mm, I'll think about it. No, wait. Nah. I had to think about what I was gonna do. <laughs> Ran in circles like a dog. Alright. Back to studying. I gotta be number one on that fucking test. Come on. Knowledge has increased. Uh huh. Damn it, only two times? Today, we'll look at. You oh god, here we go with these fucking Japanese names. <clears throat> Yukichi's Fukuzawa. Yukichi Fukuzawa's. Gakuma. Goku. Mm. Gakuma no Suzume. Suzumi. Or, an encouragement of learning. Wow, that's way easier to say. <laughs> now, open up your textbooks. This Gakuman no Suzumi has reference to the U.S. Declaration of Independence. It's apparent once you start reading, there's a famous line at the beginning. It is said that heaven does not create one man above or below another man. Gakuman no Suzumi is famous for this line. However, am I saying that right? Yeah, Gakuman. All right. Bakuman. <laughs> Uh, however, the it is said portion shows that it is a reference. So this famous quote is a quotation in itself. Are you listening, Yuchan? Yeah, I'm listening, fuckhead. What is the beginning of Gakuman's no Suzumi a reference to? The U.S. Independence. Yeah, it's reference to the U.S. Declaration. Before writing Gakuman no Suzumi, Fukuzawa wrote Sayo Joji. Sayo Joji? Sai? 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 Sai. Sayo Joji. Or Conditions of the West. In that book, he actually translated the entire declaration into Japanese. So he similarly... Uh, blah, 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 blah. So he simmer... Sim... Simmer... <laughs> simmer... Sim... Nah, why can't I say the word? Sim... Mm. Similarly... Sim... Sim... Mm. Similar. Similar... Similarly... Fuck. I, I want to shoot someone. That someone is myself. Similarly, use the reference in Gakuma no Suzume. 
well, let's, it's one of those things where you start thinking about it and you're just like, fuck. Well, let's move on. Any exist, any existing direct, oh, wow, I can't even fucking what? <laughs> any exist. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. All right. <clears throat> any existing distinction between the wise and the stupid? Ah, oh, damn it. I had a hard time. You gave the correct answer. Fucking hell. Similarly. Sim similarly? Similarly. Sim to Ugh. <laughs> I'm like fucking Nemo right now. Did you ever have a dream where you could? You would you would you have a dream where you could? <laughs> oh shit. Alright, um nothing to really do besides hang out with Yuki, right? Tomorrow's a rainy day, fuck. Yuki! Please, please level up, please level up, please level up. Mm, why do you hate me? Why do you hate me, woman? Uh-huh, yeah, okay. All right, there we go. I am home. I can work as a janitor. I'm not going to. I'm going to study. I'm going to be a good boy and study upstairs. That's what I'm going to do. I'm a big boy now. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Mmm. I used to be a bit of an expert. Now I'm a professor. Now when I walk down the halls, they go, Oh, por favor, professor. Class is in it for today. Waiting for Riza to recover. Nothing much I can really do. It's the rainy day. I can't go hang out with the fox because I haven't finished the model. Uh, and, you know, can't really do anything. Maybe I can hang out with the Osuka? Fucking excuse me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I try to stifle that. That that was a burp. I am so sorry. It wasn't even like open mouth or anything. It was it like I had my mouth closed and it just came out, you know. Let's stop talking about it. I'm not I'm not proud of it. <laughs> but it's normal. Yeah, it's still fucking nasty. <laughs> Uh, so what am I waiting for? Oh, yeah. Um, guess I'm just heading to the Chinese diner. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I lost my, my train of thought there. <laughs> I just started, <laughs> my mind just started wandering. All right. Time to get some food in my mouth. Let's see. It's time for the challenge. It's time for the percolator. Alright, gotta do this once every fucking stream. So. <coughs> Drink some water first. Me, 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 me. Alright. Central Shopping District, Chinese Diner, Aya. You accepted the Rainy Day Special Mega Beef Bowl Challenge. You still can't see the rice. You began to suspect that your bowl is a portal into the meat dimension. The amount of meat contained within this bowl is truly staggering. In order to finish this bowl, you must have understanding of your limits, knowledge to control your pace, courage to face this unrelenting tide of beef, and the diligence to preserve against this colossal challenge. All these traits are necessary to master the Rainy Day Special Mega Beef Bowl Challenge. You are unable to finish your meal in this current state. You tried your best to finish the Rainy Day Special Mega Beef Bowl Challenge, and your personality has grown tremendously. Your knowledge has increased. Your courage has increased. Your diligence has increased. Ah, yeah, too bad, mister. You pay me 3,000 yen. Get the fuck out my store. <laughs> Thank you. Come again. My daughter told me to give you her regards. 
She just left for delivery. I'll make sure to tell her you were here. I love how if you take it all and you put it side by side, you can see at the start of this playthrough, I kept biting my fucking tongue reading that shit. And now we're at a point where I'm confident enough to read it and not fuck it up. <laughs> all right. <coughs> welcome back. Hey, Nanako. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right. I'm going to study. I'm a good boy. Even though I'm a professor, I can still be smarter. Get some knowledge up in there. Make me super smart. Smarticle. Rain doesn't seem to be letting up. Yeah, there's nothing you can really do. All right. It's a Saturday. Um, yeah, nothing we can do. But we can go eat some more fucking meat. Put that big, dripping, saucy, juicy meat in my mouth. Just, mm. Went up to Chinese diner. Aya walked in the door. I said, yo, what's up, Mr. Schmeedy? You know what to do. It's time. I'm not going to read it again. <laughs> I already read it once this playthrough. We don't need to do it again. Not playthrough, my bad. This, uh, what you call it? This session. Understanding, knowledge, courage. Nice. I out to bed, mister. Come back soon. You shame to your family. You get the fuck out of my store. You pay me. I'll give you a thick fog. That doesn't make sense, but okay. It seems the fog will set in tonight. Sounds like a plan. Alright. I'm gonna head upstairs, Nanako. I gotta watch Midnight Channel. It's midnight. It's close to midnight. Alright. Fog has set in. No one is appearing on the Midnight Channel. Since Rize has been rescued, it seems the killer was thwarted this time. If only I read this good during the fucking... F uh, I keep wanting to say Phoenix, right? God damn it. During the Ace Attorney streams, Fog is covering the town. You can hear sirens in the distance. Did something happen? Your cell phone's ringing. Hello? It's from Chie. T -t -t Today, Junior. What the fuck are you talking about, Chie? Chie hung up. You're sure that you rescued Riz, eh? It would be best if you hurried to Junez. Yo, guys, what the fuck, man? You guys know he has a name, right? 
All right. I guess we'll just call him King Moron, even in death. Cool. Nah, man, we're we're good. Can't leave that to the police. It's too early to give up. We got this. Shut up, Yosuke. You're still level 16. Wow, Yosuke, you reminded me that Teddy existed. Hey, yeah, you should have been able to see something. Well, there's no customers around. I guess it's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> what the fuck, man? What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> so I told them I'm Teddy. Hi, nice. I mean, you're not wrong for doing so, but fucking god damn it. I believe you, Teddy. Yeah, don't get too comfortable about that.
You received glasses from Teddy. Oh, that's styling. That's bitching. I never thought of that in the first place. Unbeatable defense. Yeah, okay. Kanji. Teddy has joined the group as a frontline fighter. He'll definitely be strongest. Uh, wait, strongest? Why the fuck did I say that? Whoa. He'll definitely be a strong asset in your battle against the shadows. A. Rank 5. The investigation team social link has reached rank 5. Maybe he got sick of us beating his ass. Hmm. They never intended to? No, you're not. <laughs> no. Damn, you really, you're really not, not happy about that, huh, man? Bringing up some memories? Motherfucker, you gotta be kidding me. Oh no, oh no, what the fuck did I just do? Ah, shit. How long, how long was the fucking thing muted? <laughs> oh shit, no. Much better. No way. <sighs> now that hit the spot. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Hey, Chie Chan, Yuki Chan. Damn it! <laughs> oh no! Ah, shit! Someone should have warned me.
no one was gonna warn me about that, huh? Fucking ah, oh, damn it! That must have still been on mute even when I came back from break. God damn it! I'm gonna have to edit that in post. Ah, oh, that's like a good fucking couple of minutes, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna have to edit that. Don't worry, I'll fix that. I'll fix that when it goes up on YouTube. Ah, shit. The game volume was muted. Yes? Damn, Jay. Do you have anything to wear? I'm basically like a newborn at the moment. Teddy? Is that really you? Alright, Jay, calm down. It's not like you're my girlfriend or anything. Uh... Wait, did you say you're like a newborn? Then don't, don't take the bottom part off. You need some clothes, right? Come on, let's go look around. That's... Teddy? He said he's not hollow anymore. So, like... He grew himself a body in there? What kind of creature would do that? I mean, what is he? <sighs> then again, this is hardly the first bizarre thing we've seen. And I gotta admit, it's probably better than him walking around in his bear suit. Oh, hey, weren't we gonna see about talking to Rise? I was so shocked that I lost track of what we were talking about. Let's head over to Rise's place. As for Teddy, he's with the girls, so he should be fine. Alright. No problem here. He went home to change before heading to the shopping district. It's finally the season for Topsicles again. Wait, did he just say I went home to change? Wait, what? Oh, no, not that button. What what button am I looking for? Ah, I want to see the log. Dude, how many are you going to eat? You're going to get a stomach ache. Sorry we're late. How did it take you that long to find clothes for Ted? Whoa. I is that you, Teddy? Oui, monsieur. How do I look? C'est magnifique. Uh, don't encourage him. Ah, uh, you're no fun, Chie. I have to say, it totally blew my mind. But he's Teddy, all right. This guy had to make it a huge ordeal. Everything was new to him, so it turned into a big mess. He was so excited in the women's section that he started blabbering. Jesus. Hey, you can't just go around doing whatever you please when you're in this form. Got it? Well, he can't help it. It's his first time in our world. <sighs> all right. You don't need to get all mopey like that. I never said I won't forgive you. I'm so glad. I was worried that you didn't like me anymore. Oh, man. If you can behave yourself, you'll be pretty cute. Hello, Chie. What the fuck? It's not like I'm standing here or anything. Is he cute? What do you think, Kanji? What the fuck, Yosuke? Huh? What are you asking me for? Well, I was just wondering if he was your type. Oh, I get it. What you're really asking is, will you please beat the shit out of me, Kanji? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my favorite. <laughs> Yukiko gets it. It ain't funny, Yukiko Senpai. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You'll have to forgive Yukiko. She's helpless when she gets this way. Oh, please, everyone. Don't fight over me, baby. I'm gonna kick your ass, Teddy. Shut up! You picking a fight with me? <laughs> Jeez, oh well. Let's get handed over a thousand yen bill to Kanji. Here, Kanji, get whatever ice cream you want. Just share it with Teddy. We're gonna head for the tofu shop. Wait here until we get back. Wow, you're rich. I can't just take this from you. Think of it as a welcome back party for Teddy. Just don't go around making a racket. 
Whoa, Yosuke, what's gotten into you? You're acting like a real senpai all of a sudden. Oh, I get it. You might say differently, but you're still nice to Teddy. I'm glad Yosuke's developing into such a mature adult. Someone who doesn't let trifles bother him. Why are you talking like that, Chie? You sound like you did something bad. What? You're worrying me, Chie. Oh, it's about Teddy's clothes, that's all. We didn't have the money for them, so we charged the rest to you. What the fuck? Charge? And you bought him the most expensive ones, huh? What? You put it on my account? Ah, oh, what the hell, Chie? I never said you could do that. What else were we supposed to do? That stuff was expensive, even for Junette. You seriously charged it to me? Why would you do that? You know I just bought a motorcycle, I'm broke! So, if you're already broke, a little more debt isn't gonna make much of a difference. What the fuck? What? <laughs> Chie, you're making me, you're making me have second thoughts about what, about our current relationship, okay? What? Come on, baby. Stop fighting over... Shut up! This is your fault, you know! <sighs> You listen here, Ted. You better take really, really, really good care of that. If you put even a single tear in it, I'll make your next set of clothes out of the bear hide you took off. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, Teddy. Don't let it get you down. Let's go get some topsicles. Why don't you guys just have Kanji make him some clothes? Oh, my God. Can you chill out, PC port, please? Started freezing and shit. I've never seen it act this bad. Let's go on ahead. I think they're going to be a while. Yeah, sure. And this is the last time the game tries to push Yukiko on you. The last time. Ah, I had a feeling you'd come. The fuck is that supposed to mean? You're. Are you here to ingratiate yourself with Risei Kujikawa now? Ingratiate? By that, you mean talk? Sure. Jeez, why did the clerk even let them charge it to someone else? Huh? Wait, you're that guy we saw with Kanji. Precisely. I don't believe we've met since then. In fact, I don't believe I've ever introduced myself. My name is Naoto Shiragane. I'm investigating the multiple murders that have occurred here. Mind if I ask you a few questions on the subject? Sure. The latest victim, Kinshiro Muraoka. He was a teacher at the school you all attend, correct? Yes. So what? The public is focused on the fact that he is associated with the second victim's school. But in truth, that's irrelevant. What intrigues me is the inconsistency. This Muraoka has never appeared on television. Oh, very perceptive of you. Congratulations. What do you make of that? How are we supposed to know? Well, we'll leave it at that. I guess we will. For my part, I'd like to solve this case as quickly as possible. I'll be keeping an eye on you all. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Well then, until we meet again. Yes. Until then. Who is that guy? I don't know. It felt like he completely saw through us. He even knew about the TV thing. Oh, hi. Risei-chan, are you okay now? Good, good. Are you all here to check up on me? Well, yeah. Oh, um, do you guys have a moment? There's something I want to tell you. Follow me. My grandma's taking care of the shop today. Sure, okay. Tatsuhimi Uh, I can't even say the fucking name. Fuck it, who cares? I'm still embarrassed that I had the game audio muted. God damn it. Yeah, I remember being at my house. When I came to, though, I was already in the other world. Aww. Still no real information on the killer. We met this weird kid named Naoto a second ago. Oh, he's come to the shop several times. He asked me a lot about the incident. I didn't tell him anything about the other world, though. 
I figured it'd be a waste of time. You're a smart cookie, Rize. Actually, he asked me about you guys too, but I just made up some stuff. You're a very smart cookie, like, Rize. They found me unconscious on the roof at Jeunesse. You're a super smart cookie, Rize. Well, I guess that's close enough to the truth. Um, so... Hmm? What's up? Um, I really appreciate what you did for me. Thank you so much! I love you guys! Well, that was a major tonal shift. Huh? Oh, you don't have to thank us. Dude, she's so cute! Man, it's finally hitting me that you're the real deal. You really are reset. Well, I know I sounded gloomy and all from stress, so I, I thought you might not like me that way. Do I sound weird? Oh, but I guess it sounds more natural this way to the public. I'm sorry. I've practically lost touch with what the normal me is like. <laughs> no need to apologize. Just do what comes naturally. I think everyone has multiple sides to them. You don't have to force yourself to decide on just one. Yeah, if you do that, then the voices start talking, right, Yukiko? <laughs> it sounds convincing when Yukiko says it. Huh? Uh, really? Mm. Thanks. <laughs> I'm glad you're the first people I got to know here. Oh yeah, we almost forgot your present. The teddy glasses. Um, you don't have to take them, but... Well... Teddy gave you a pair of glasses to hold on to for when Rize joined you. But what should you say when giving them to her? Senpai, would you be struggling without my help? I can help you in that world, right? With my power. So wouldn't it be better if I joined the team? Definitely. Here you go. He handed the glasses to Rize. These are kind of like proof that you're one of us. You explained the effects of the glasses to Rize. I see. I do remember you all wearing glasses over there. We wear them to look super stylish. Thanks, Senpai. Now I'm part of the team, too. <laughs> oh, is it the teenage bikini girl from the start of the game? Yeah, she's part of the team. Rize Kuzukawa joined the group. Oh, you missed it. Oh, shit. That's not the only person who joined the team. You'll be, you'll be surprised in like two seconds. She'll definitely be a strong asset in solving the case. Also, welcome back. Welcome back to Jack. Nice to see you again. I'll be going to Yasugami High starting tomorrow. Oh, you know who joined the team? Oh, you beat the game. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't have any friends yet, so don't ignore me, all right? I'll try my best. I do owe you my life, so, you know. That you do. Technically, I guess you- Oh, wait, no. You do owe us your life, because Teddy's the one who stuck- Yeah, okay, cool. Anyways, leave it to me. Ha-ha! Courage. Wow. I didn't realize you were so cool, senpai. This sure is a rough time to transfer here, though. The kidnappings, King Moron's death. All that and exams are soon, too. Oh, exams. Now I'm depressing myself. I wonder if there's any chance they'll be cancelled. I doubt it. They always hold exams, rain or shine. Schools will never cancel exams. I remember I had to do one in the middle of a blizzard. It sucked. <laughs> I almost got killed by those monsters. Compared to that, exams are nothing. We got snowed in afterwards. Then. Let's discuss the case some more tomorrow at our special headquarters. Yo, how's it going? Sup, Kanji. Dude, Teddy ate five topsicles. I don't know why that voice line always gets me. Kanji just throws up. He's like, dude, Teddy ate like fucking five topsicles, man. Though if you count the ones I had before, well, that makes six. So I still win. No one asked. We're all done talking already. Let's go, senpai. Uh, when did you get so chipper? Do you go to Yasugami like Senpai? I'll be starting school there tomorrow, so I hope we get along too. Oh no. The Senpaiism starts. Ugh. Huh? Oh. Cool. Uh, what grade are you in? <laughs> so where's Teddy? 
He's over there, finishing up his fifth Topsicle. What are we gonna do with him? Well, I guess I'll take him home. Ooh, Yosuke's got a boyfriend. I love how Yukiko's just laughing, but it's like, what the hell are you laughing for, Yukiko? The game forgets about you after Rizzi shows up. The night concerns the latest developments in an ongoing story. The serial murder case in Inaba has claimed a third victim. The news shocked local residents, who have not seen another murder in three months, and assumed the spree had reached its end. The deceased taught at a local high school. Since his body was found arranged in a similar manner as the last two victims... King Morad's picture is on the news. It seems he really was murdered. What's wrong? Was it... Someone you know? He died? Nanako seems scared. Don't worry. I'm here with you. Calm Nanako down. Understanding has increased. I'm alright. That's good to hear. This marks the second consecutive death after Miss Saki Konishi's. <laughs> where the target was involved with Yasogami High. Uh, Yukiko nervously laughs as cuter teenage girl joins the cast. Exactly. Like, yeah, keep laughing it up, girl. Your time is over. <laughs> Mr. Moraoka was known for his strict teaching methods and is said to have had constant friction with his students. The police will be pursuing this line of inquiry and are planning to begin a large-scale investigation tomorrow. We now turn to our reporter at the scene for more details. Wow, that's the most, like, that's the most professional way to describe someone as an asshole. Dad won't be coming home again today. No, he won't. Maybe you should try another magic trick. Well, I failed it last time somehow. You moved your finger to your right hand. To your left hand. I did it this, yep, did it this time. <gasps> Do it again. Do it again. This time, move your finger on your left hand to your right hand. Yeah. It moved! Hey, how did you do that? Tell me, tell me! I made a deal with the devil, and now I gotta suck his dick every Wednesday night. <laughs> Nanako seems to have cheered up. I was making that joke as it was coming out my mouth. Didn't, didn't end the way I wanted it to. <laughs> That was fucking dumb. Oh, hey, it's you guys. This place. Welcome. It's been quite some time. It seems that you've been called to the Velvet Room. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. And that's supposed to not make me alarm? What? Do not be alarmed. You're asleep in the real world, and your mind is here. No one will hear you scream. How are things proceeding? Are you gradually drawing nearer to a solution to the mystery? Yes. Excellent. The season has changed, but your future is not yet closed. In time, a path will open to you. Our true reason for calling you here tonight is to provide a new form of assistance to help you achieve just that. Oh, really? Fusing personas. Have you been using our services diligently? I was supposed to before the boss, but then I forgot. But hey, it worked out. The aid we will henceforth provide is an advanced form of fusion. I speak of the power to fuse four or more personas at once. Wow, it's almost like I'll never really use that, but thanks. I am quite certain that this will enable you to command even stronger powers. A new type of fusion is now available. Now, your journey will soon reach its climax. I'll make you reach your cli- never mind. And as a result, many challenges, which I cannot foresee at present, await you. Most interesting. <laughs> well, until we meet again. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Pay no attention to me. 
pay more attention to the man with the long nose and the super curly, fucked up E.T. fingers. Yo! Pay attention to her fake ass Bodidas bag. <laughs> Yo, you. I still can't believe it. Our homeroom teacher was killed. I couldn't get that much sleep yesterday. How about you? You alright? Man, I'm okay. I don't give a fuck about Mororoka. Well, if it started to get depressed over something like this, we'll never catch the killer, huh? Uh, oh yeah. This means we'll be getting a new homeroom teacher. I wonder who will be- Oh. Thanks for reminding me, Yosuke. Well, I'm pretty sure that they won't be able to find anyone worse than King Moron. The classroom is bustling. Oh my hey, god. Is that stuff about King Moron for real? Hold up. It hold was up. On TV, right? <laughs> Stop talking. Must be true. I didn't put it on auto advance, did I? Oh shit. Good morning. Okay, I didn't. Fuck it. <laughs> As I was reading that, when it says the classroom was bustling, my mind just went, the classroom is bussing. I was like, what? I'm Noriko Kashiwagi, your new class teacher starting today. I don't know if I should be attracted or scared of you. You all probably know already, but now that Mr. Morooka has passed away, I'll be taking good care of you instead. Okay, why don't we start off with a moment of silence for Mr. Morooka? Why are you saying his name like that? Close your eyes, everyone. I need an adult. That should be enough. I'll do my best to fill Mr. Morooka's shoes. So, our regular exams are still on track for next week. As your principal said, it's times like these when the schedule is most important, Nori-chan. <laughs> <laughs> It must be tough for you, but that's what it means to become an adult, little by little. I already can't stand her. First King Moron and now Kashiwagi? How much worse can it get? I want Miss Toriyumi. Bring her back. They didn't allow me to do what I wanted to do in that game. Oh, and one more thing. She plays video games. She's cool. That idol in our first year class, Ms. Kujikawa, was it? In person? <laughs> She's nothing like she seems on TV, so don't get your hopes up, okay? Okay. What's so great about an idol anyway, right, class? She's just a piece of inexperienced jailbait. Oh. Hmm. All right. This Kajiwaki's ranting on and on. What's up with her? Does she think she's Rosette's rival? She doesn't stand a chance against Rosette. I mean, I heard Kashiwagi is on the wrong side of 40. You can hear your classmates gossiping. I bet King Moron would have been ecstatic to hear Rosette had enrolled here. Someone told me they saw him buying Rise's pinup book. Ugh. That sounds kind of pervy. I mean, yeah. He annoyed the hell out of me. But I feel bad that he got killed. He was a funny guy. I like how funny he was. He was funny. Oh, you know what? Rosette was on a strip tease show. Huh? A strip tease? Dude, if that was true, the paparazzi would have been all over it. I'm serious. But the reception went bad right when it was getting to the good part. It was on that midnight channel everyone keeps talking about. He's like, I have my dick in my hand, and then the TV went out. You actually believe that crap? How friggin' dense are you? Trust me, you were dreaming it. The rumor about the Midnight Channel is spreading further. We'd better wrap this case up quick. Oh, you think? Anyways, let's meet up later. Don't make any plans for this afternoon. Oh, But I gotta study. And make models. Ugh, finals are next week. <sighs> It's been a while since I failed any subjects. Yeah, if by a while you mean all the time. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Yosuke. Shut up! Like you've ever seen my scores! But she always has above average marks in the subjects that she doesn't fail. Hey, hey! Why'd you tell him? My scores just vary. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Reese, John. You too? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing at you. It's just, 
I thought it would take me a while to make any friends at my new school. Too bad we met under such awful circumstances. The awfulest. I mean the worst possible. It's not like I was, you know, staring idly by. Oh yeah. What do you guys think about King Moron's case? He didn't show up on the Midnight Channel even once. If this person had been inside the TV, I would have sensed it. My nose isn't as sharp now, but I can tell that much. But they found the body on a foggy day again, right? They said on the news that that crime scene was just the way it was for that announcer and Saki-senpai. I really wonder about the culprit's motives. Why was Mr. Moraoka targeted? Hope it wasn't personal. Because there's way too many people who ate a King Moron's guts. But didn't you say it's people who get famous on TV who are targeted? If the killer's choosing targets by watching TV, I picture him as someone who doesn't know the victims at all. True. I don't think it's worth trying to figure out motives for that type. There are too many people who hold grudges against you for no reason, even if you've never met them before. Oh, so true. Huh. You sound like you speak from experience, Rise-chan. I mean, she is an idol, and Miss Kajwagi did just fucking lose her shit. But with King Moron, he didn't appear on the Midnight Channel or the regular TV. Arr, I don't get this at all. Man, two victims in a row from our school. That's gotta set off the police's alarm bells. They're not gonna leave any stones at school unturned. Kanji, what the fuck did you just say? Two victims in a row from our school? You fucking moron. <laughs> Yukiko. But hold up. Saki. Yukiko. Your fucking self. Rize. Now King Moron. That's five, buddy. You know, to be honest. Somewhere deep inside, I thought maybe King Moron was the killer. The news says that he was the second victim from Yasugami High, but we all know that's not the case. And I've heard him say more than once that so and so deserves to die. But now, I feel bad that oh, I didn't. Calm down, him. Yosuke. He's just a redditor. He was a capital A asshole, but that doesn't justify killing him. And not just King Moron. I feel sorry for all the victims. I can't forgive the killer, no matter what. Well, we'll do what we can, for King Moron's sake, too. At this rate, you have to figure that the killer has something to do with the school, right? So why don't we split up and... That won't be necessary. Excuse me? Y you There is no need to examine the case of Mr. Moraoka any further. Apparently, the police have found a suspect. It would be best to let them handle the case from here. How do you know? I'm on this case as a special investigator, by request of the prefectural police. What? They found a suspect? Who is it? As to his name, I haven't been informed. I do know that he is a high schooler. It isn't public knowledge yet, but he isn't a student of your high school. It seems they are quite confident that this boy is the killer. They have testimonies directly linking him with the incident. I expect it's only a matter of time before he is apprehended. Soon this case will be solved and your town will once again be its peaceful, rustic self. What the fuck, man? The suspect is a high schooler? All right, so why come tell us? That's confidential info, right? Why run right here and spill it? Your game will soon reach its end. I'll go fuck yourself. I felt I should at least let you know that. It's not a game. You don't deny, then, that you have involved yourselves in the matter? Yeah, I don't deny it. People are fucking dead, you piece of shit. Well, no matter. I have no reason to say anything further. Good. A game? Aren't you the one who thinks of this as a game? <sighs> I don't care if you're a special investigator or an amateur sleuth. All you're doing is solving mysteries. What could you possibly know about us? You're the one who's playing a game here. One of the victims? She meant a lot to me. How could I possibly treat this like a game? Man, Yosuke has spoken like a true stalker. Plus, we made a promise. Y Yosuke... A game. That may be quite true. Why so understanding all of a sudden? Oh, I get it. 
I was wondering why you'd be wandering around like this when the police have a suspect. What, did they get rid of you now that they have their man? Is that why you came here? You were lonely? Detectives normally aren't involved with arrests, and we never harbor any special emotions regarding a case either. That's a lie now, so I've watched TVs, I've seen detectives arrest people all the time. Fucking Dojima's a detective. You can't lie to me. Still, it is rather unfortunate that people are only attentive so long as our services are required. I got some services that are required from you. But then, I'm accustomed to it. Hmm. Much about this case was perplexing, but its solution was surprisingly simple. Well then, I'll be going now. See, see you later, I uh, guess. What was that about? He just said his piece and left? Hmm. He said they have a suspect, but is this really gonna solve everything? <sighs> Who knows? You all decided to call it a day. Can I save my game now? It's been a while. Hey! Oh, welcome home, big bro! Hey, Nanako. Pleasure to see you again. Save that game. Alright. Now that we have... Rize and Teddy on our team, I can finally do this. <laughs> Jesus. I hate that the fucking game pauses whenever I'm not on it. That sucks. I hate it. Why does it do that? Now, where is it? I wish there was a more, like, classy way of switching this out. It's in this folder. It should be in this folder anyways. If it's not, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Where is it? Scroll down. I gotta delete some shit off of this computer. All these big porns that I have on here it has to go. Is he joking or is he telling the truth? The world may never know. Here we go. All right. Aha. You are now officially part of the team. There you go, guys. <coughs> Banner has been updated. All right, um, what am I doing? Social links. I still got to hang out with Yuki, right? Yuki's at 8. Tia's at 9. Um, tomorrow's the... Do exams start tomorrow? Hmm. Can't really do nothing with Anika. My expression isn't good. You realize that you haven't bought anything. How much money do I have? Well, I'm not going to buy anything. Go fuck yourself. I'm not made of money. Do I want to study? Hey, what's the requirement for Naoto? That's a, that's a spoiler I just shat out there. <laughs> Alright. Fucking, uh, what's the knowledge requirement for that? It's fucking, um... Is it Professor or is it Sage? Because if it's Professor, then we're good. We're, we're golden. I don't remember. I might just sit down and make a model. When is the next uh, rainy day? Oh shit. That's not how you check. <clears throat> check by checking the weather. Nanako, I'm changing the TV. Oh. It's tomorrow. <laughs> oh shit. Alright, well, damn it. Guess I'll just study then, right? You decide to study. You damn right I do. Knowledge increase. I'm gonna be the smartest person ever. You overheard students talking. Final start next week. It's next week they start. Uh, Senpai, you look pretty down. It's not good for you, you know? Once they're over, summer vacation isn't far behind, right? Shut it, puny underclass- What? <laughs> Shut it, puny underclassman. <laughs> puny Peter Parker. I have to study for my college entrance exams. Once you're a third-year student, you'll get a taste of what it's like to taste- 
the, the taste. The take test all year. Puny underclassman. Puny banner. Remember, guys, finals are starting next week. If you fail, you'll have to attend our lovely summer school. Anyways, today, we're going to talk about sex laundry. What? <laughs> Alright, sex linkage. Sex linkage inher inheritance is dependent on... Uh, I feel uncomfortable. To say simply, it's genetic inheritance that caused by whatever decades... Wait, what? Whatever decides if you're... Uh, fuck, I can't even read. Male or female? <laughs> Did someone say sex? An example is calico cats. Calico cats are almost extremely female. Extremely? What the fuck is wrong with me? Entirely female. Not that they're... Not that there are any boys, but apparently there's only one out of every several tens of thousands. Maybe these rare male calicos are very popular with the ladies. You thinking about fucking a cat? My knowledge has increased. Kajawagi's a furry. Oh no. <laughs> the moment I said that, my, my mind was just like, Kajawagi wearing a cat ear and tails. And I'm like, oh, no. Kashiwagi's not ugly, but for some reason when I think about it, it's just it's not a it's not a pleasant it's not a pleasant thought. Alright. So it's raining. Everyone's sad and depressed. That's cool, that's fine. Everyone's just studying. So I think I said it in like one of the streams earlier, but I remember finding out like on one of my playthroughs that uh where is it? Is it in the it's not the practice building. Is it down here? It's not down here. Might be on the second floor actually. That there's actually a library in the school that you can study in. I think it's Is that it right there? I think this is the door. Yeah, library. You can study here efficiently. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw that and I went, what? There's a library? <laughs> I was like, since when? But screw that. I'm already a professor. I'm gonna... I'm gonna spend my rainy days putting meat in my mouth and no one's gonna stop me. All right. I'm wasting my money away. Is it really a waste, though? There you go. Put the meat in your mouth. What do I get from it? Knowledge. Courage. Diligence. Nothing has increased. Expensive-ass meal. Welcome back. Welcome back yourself. Oh, you went shopping today. That's nice. Study? Maybe I should study. Maybe I should make a model. When's the... I'm sorry. I know tomorrow's a rainy day. Oh, yeah. No, definitely. All right. Hold up. I'm a professor. I should be okay. I should be okay with the exams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need to buy shit. I'm making a model. I got two nights left on this shit. Might as well make it. Diligence has increased. The model has been complete. Oh! I only have one day left. Nice. That means I can spend this day eating at Aya's again. I'm sorry! Sorry, it's an emergency. Yukiko forced herself under your umbrella. Thank you. Don't worry, girl. I like it forceful. <laughs> I couldn't find my folding umbrella. It's odd, because I always have one in my bag. Oh. Did I use it when I was with Chie? Um... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. I'm a little nervous. What do people start talking? Give it nine days. You think it'll be... You think it'll be a passing thing? I wonder if that's true. I hope it stops raining by the time school gets out. I miss my high school sweethearts. Damn it. <laughs> I'm sad now. Oh. Hey, Yuki. 
It's alright with you. Would you mind walking me home? Alright. I'll think about it. I see. It is raining today, Yuki. I might just... You know, I might, I might just... Head to Aya's. Let's see. I can hang out with a girl. Or I can put meat in my mouth. Oh wait, it's not raining today. If I can hang out with Yuki, then it's definitely not raining. What the fuck is wrong with me? You all seem really sad. I know it's tough. I still can't believe Mr. Moroka was taken from us. The faculty office is still in shock, too. But we can't sob about it all day. Today, we're gonna put the physical back into education. We're gonna play rugby. And don't even think about getting lazy because it's hot. It's hot, it's hot, but run. Keep running. Sweat. I wanna see you dripping, man. And then, eat shaved ice. I don't like ices. I don't like ices. I don't like snow cones. They're just... Ices to me are too watery and snow cones to me are just too depressing. <laughs> because the shaved ice you eat after exercise is the best. Brain freeze, hell yeah. You seem too cool, Narakami. Answer me while running. What is the medical term for brain freeze? Um, uh, neural cal- Wrong! The correct answer is What the fuck? Uh, sin sinopalatine gaglionis. I don't fucking know. <laughs> gaglionis, is that a Final Fantasy character? When you eat some something cold like shaved ice, it constricts. Ugh, God, I can't read. It constricts the flesh around the tri 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 damn it trigeminal. I feel stupid. That's the nerve that tells your brain that your forehead hurts, and so you think your forehead hurts. Alright. I can see that you're all sweating hard. Okay. <laughs> the more you sweat, the better the shaved ice will be when you're done. Oh no, my answer was incorrect about a fucking gym question. Great. That's definitely gonna impact my grade. Stupid ass fucking PE classes. They're not even fun no more. <laughs> They're not even fun no more. Right? Oh, you can't do that because the school might get sued. It's not my fault kids can't handle losing a fucking tooth now and then. Alright. Hey, uh, I was- oh my god. I had to stop myself. I was about to go, hey, Yukari. Hey, Yukiko. Seems Yukiko is busy right now. <laughs> Let's hang yes. out. Let's hang out before Chie butts you out. Because that's going to happen. Tatsuhimi Shrine. Yukiko brought you here, saying she wanted to pay her respects. Are you going to wish for something too? Hmm. It's a secret. Shh. Don't tell no one. Something you can't tell me? Oh, don't worry. She seems curious. I'm wishing for everyone's health. For Chie, for you, for the others, and everyone at the inn, too. And I'm wishing to become a woman worthy of you. Alright, that's pretty direct. Finally, I wish for everyone to be able to smile together. Let's begin our prayer. I've decided not to leave Inaba. What? I never really objected to being the inn's manager per se. Yes, you did. I just didn't like the fact that it wasn't up to me. I felt that my life was on rails. Eh, I guess. And I thought running away was the only choice for me. That seems stupid. But no longer. I want to protect the family inn. Okay. <laughs> I think that's why people don't like Yukiko, is her fucking social link. Like, you do all this shit, and at the end, she's all like, eh, I wasn't really mad about it, and it's like, but you were. <laughs> Liar. After all, it's near to my heart. Um, thank you. I think it's because of you that I realized this. Because you were always by my side. Because you kept poisoning me with your food? I mean, when... <laughs> I can't really leave your side, Yukiko, when you're the only one with the antidote. 
Yugo's determination makes her look more mature. That's a fast way to get locked up. Hmm, you look at this... This 17-year-old now, and she looks a little bit more mature. Hmm, yeah. Not 17, what are they, 16? Yuko's determination in battle has been enhanced. I'm still, I'm still a little mad over Phoenix, right? Where they're like, yeah, fucking Francesca Von Karma, she's like, she's like 18. I'm like, that's a grown woman. What are you talking about? Look at her. And then later on, I found out that she's 5'4", and I'm like, that's impossible. She's, she looks like she's taller than Phoenix. Yuko can now take a mortal blow for you. Um, I wanted to ask you this before. Yes. Um. Mm hmm. Why? Why? Why are you always with me? Yukiko is blushing. However, you already are in a relationship with another girl. I is it okay for me to ask? Because I really like you. That's right. You. You like. me? <sighs> Yes, I like you. Uh, um, I feel the same way, so. And thus the waifu wars continued. There's no turning back. Your relationship with Yukiko has become intimate. I thought my heart was going to stop. Um, stay here with me just a little longer. You spent a long time with Yukiko. You walked her to the inn and went home. You're back. Dojima, I've done a bad thing. <laughs> I've done a really bad thing. No one can save me now. Alright. Now that those two are there, they're locked in. They can't go nowhere. They can't escape. Now we, uh, now we don't have to worry about any choices in the future. Until people start fighting each other. Some people just like to watch the world burn, you know? Alright, um, what am I doing? Ah, shit, I was supposed to talk to the guy and give him the model. Fuck, I forgot. Damn it. Alright, um, well, guess I'll just work on an expression then. Who the fuck? What the hell you want? Hello, it's Chie. Y'all need plans for tomorrow? Why don't we go into the TV? You know, training. Hey, Chie, why don't you stop bothering me? Thank you. I'm gonna, gonna translate. That's what I'm gonna do. You decided to work on translating. Have a hard time translating. Oh. Speculate from context? Guess what the letters are. Fuck it. Patiently translated by looking up problem... Problem words in the dictionary. You have reached your set goal. Alright, I got 3,000. That's nice. Gotta give the guy the model today. Can't forget about it. I'm sure you're all feeling anxious knowing your homeroom teacher is deceased. Well, to be honest, us teachers are kind of afraid ourselves. The culprit is still in the loose. But there's no sense wasting time moaning about it. Let's get to work. Today, we'll talk about Kobodaishi or Kuk or but Kukai? Kukai. First, look at this kanji. Hey! Oh, oh, oh what? Hasoi, that's his name, right? Hasoi chan? Isn't that a isn't that a misprint in the textbook? It's supposed to be I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Good eye! But no, this is the wrong kanji. Wait, what? Oh, this is the wrong kanji, but the book is supposed to print it this way. It's actually quoting. Hmm. Yu chan. Quit staring at the puppet and pay attention to the book. I mean, it's kind of hard not to. I find it, I find it kind of interesting that they uh, let someone who's not fully sound of mind be our teacher. But okay. Which famous Ian? Ian. That's how you say it. Which famous Ian era monk famously used the wrong version of the blah 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 kanji? Um, I don't fucking know. Famously used it? Well, I guess it's Kukai. I mean, we are reading it. 
Yep, that's right. It was Kukai. You were listening after all. Yes, I was. There's an old saying, even Ko- Even- Well, goddammit. Even Kobodo made mistakes in writing. Uh, did I just say Kobodo? My bad. Kobo. Kobo is another name for Kukai. And this was the mistake he made. This happens when he wrote the name- Oh, oh Jesus. Otenmon? Oitenmon? I don't know. On the frame of the Oten- Alright, fuck, fuck this. <laughs> I got the answer right. Fuck you. You're killing me here, man. I'm just trying to give my fucking Gundam figure to this guy, alright? Sitting here talking about Kukai and Kobo and all this other bullshit. Can't you know- don't you know that my tiny American brain can't handle this? It's very tiny. Very small. Almost as small as... Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna stop that joke there. <laughs> Here's your fucking model. Get it away from me. I don't care. There you go. Great. Thanks for wasting my time, old man. Um... Shit. Um... No, I was gonna go catch bugs. I was gonna do that, but then I remembered that I don't need to. Head to Junez. Hi, Adachi. Oh. You saved me. Wanna talk? You look more like I'm invested. Ah, forget it. Isn't ready to advance yet. What the fuck? What is your, what is your rank, you son of a bitch? Wait, what? Five? Five? How many Persona slots do I have? I have one left. It won't really make a difference, fuck it. Oh. Yeah, let's hang out, Adachi. Whatever. I mean, it does make a difference, but I mean, at this point... Like, eh, fuck it. It's not like I was gonna hang out with anybody else. Hi, Nanako. Oh, you went shopping? You know what? I'll cook tonight. Why not? Might as well do it once. Oh, Nanako, by the way, totally forgot about the vegetables we had. They're probably super dead. Let's see. Sure, I'll make something. I don't know how it'll turn out, but I'll make it. Surprisingly, you have the ingredients to make fried chicken. A black man specialty. All right, let's do it. You decided to make fried chicken. You're damn right I do. You marinated the meat. Alright. What, uh, what should you cover the chicken with? Um, flour? Hadoi? It's almost done frying. Obtain soggy fried chicken. Wait, what? I'm sorry? What the fuck just happened? Marinated the meat. Oh. No wonder. Marinated the meat. For some reason in my mind, I was like... I thought when... Ah, damn it. I should have fucking paid more attention. <laughs> I know how to cook, I promise. Um, Say you marinated the meat. And I was like, yeah, when you make fried chicken, you put flour on, you know, you do a little egg wash or whatever, fucking, not egg wash, what am I saying? Well, you know, you know what I mean, fucking take a beaten egg, use that, help the flour stick and all that other bullshit, right? But, since you marinate it, instead of just seasoning it, how the fuck? How long did you marinate it for? What the fuck? Alright, whatever. I'm not gonna bitch about it. Who would you like to invite for lunch? Payback's a bitch, huh? Hmm. Who shall be my victim? You know what? Only ate Chie's food once. Yukiko made me try her food multiple times. Hmm. Hmm.
Why does Yumi- why is Yumi by herself in the fucking options? That's pretty sad. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll let it be. I'll eat it alone. You decided to eat alone. Yeah. Damn it. Alright, that's the lesson about the- about the- uh, How long have I been streaming for? Let's see, four hours, great. Almost five hours, that's cool. All right, about the Mariana Islands. Let's take, a, let's take a breather and talk about something fun. The Mariana Islands are in the area of the ocean where typhoons were born. There's a line on the map that typhoons can never cross. Let's see, you, you blend into the class a little too well. Go fuck yourself. Let's fucking discount Mr. Rogers. Which line can the typhoon never cross? Uh, international date line, the prime meridian, the equator. Yeah, that's correct. I'm surprised you knew that. I'm surprised I knew it too. Typhoons are moved by global air currents uh, called atmospheric circulation. If one forms into a northern hemisphere, it moves north. If it forms in the southern hemisphere, it moves south. That's why a typhoon can never cross the equator. Isn't that interesting? Make sure you tell your parents that I'm an interesting teacher, okay? Feedback like this affects my paycheck. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's continue the lesson. Knowledge has increased. I am a professor. Alright. It's a Friday. I can head to... Well, let's see. No one's... Oh, wait. No one's gonna hang out because it's a week before exams. Right? Hi, Rize. How's it going? Oh, Senpai. Came just at the right time. The test coming up covers a lot of subjects. I won't be able to study enough unless you help me. What? I'm not a meanie. I don't need your help. <laughs> Get your own grades. You know what? I'll make it up to you, Rize. I'll hang out with you, right? I, I'm not gonna get no points for it. I'll hang out with you, though. If a Dutch, he's not. Oh, okay. Oh. Meet again. Shopping at dinner. Cabs was cheap. Uh. Hmm. Don't have time to cook, seriously, these days. How busy I am. Okay, I guess I'll see you at night, then? Maybe? Well, a promise is a promise, I guess, you know? I did say, I could, you know, I could start riding my motorcycle around so I can get ready for one of the future requests, but I mean, I made a promise, Rize, sure, why not? Oh, senpai. Yeah, I'll study with you. Sure. I'm not gonna get nothing out of it, but I'll study with you. You also got me high library. You study with Rize. I'll do my best to make you proud, senpai. Please don't laugh at me if I get it wrong. Did I just have a stroke reading that? Please don't laugh at me even if I get it wrong. I felt like I didn't read it correctly. By teaching Rize, you were able to review the material for yourself. Since you had completed reading the study expert methods, you get more knowledge. Nice. That's beautiful. You're back. I am back. You can work as a janitor, which I have yet to do. I have not went to any of my jobs in this fucking game. Um, let's see. Oh, so you don't want to hang out. Ah, right, go fuck yourself. Um, oh, Rize is part of the team now. We can hang out with Marie again. And it will actually be worth something. I'm gonna head back home. I wish I can take the bike out at night, but you can't. That's sad. That's a sad thing that you can't do. All right. Hello. Hey, it's Ko. Want to study together? How about no? Oh, okay. Another time then. So, man, you haven't been to practice. You haven't talked to me in like fucking four months. You okay, man? Yeah, I'm fine, Ko. Leave me alone, dude. Wait, what am I doing? Why am I trying to study? Damn it, Ko, you're making me forget what the hell I'm trying to do. Work on some idioms in the text. Major translation work difficult. Hell yeah! I'm now touchy. Touchy good. Yo! 
Septier. Hey, the guy that, um, uh, the guy, oh fuck. The guy the police are after, I wonder what he's like. How's the investigation going? I can't stop worrying about it. Speaking of worrying about things, we have tests coming up next week. But I can't study when I'm thinking about our investigation. Focus, GA. I guess you're right. How am I supposed to argue with that? You yelled at me. How am I supposed to argue with that? I don't know. And that's our lesson on the Saxon Wars. I hope I said that right. Uh, that Charlemagne... Uh, what? Yeah, Char... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what you said. Charlemagne. Brought us during the 8th and 9th century. Speaking of Charlemagne, the King of Hearts... And the it is Charlemagne, right? I'm not fucking that up, am I? <laughs> In the deck of cards, it's supposedly modeled after him. The King of Hearts has the characteristic that the other kings don't. I wonder if any of you guys know what it is. Well, you, please stand up. You guys just really love picking on me, huh? Tell me, what makes the King of Hearts look different from the other kings in the standard deck of cards? He's got no mustache. You give the answer you think is correct. Haha, <laughs> you notice the details, you. That's good. Yes, the King of Hearts is the only one without a mustache. Back then, playing cards were made using the same methods as books. By etching and engravings, it said a clerk hand slipped. And the resulting mistake with his with his chisels shaved off the mustache. Mustache. Mm. Since then, that design has become commonplace, and so the King of Hearts is simply drawn without a mustache. Isn't this a great example of one small mistake making its way into history? Yeah, like oh damn it. <laughs> you know, I was gonna make a I was gonna make a history joke, right? I don't think I should, in good faith. I'm just not gonna do that. <laughs> Cause someone's gonna get hurt. <laughs> it might be me. Oh man. You never knew you never knew where those little doodles you make on your answer sheets will end up in the future. Knowledge has increased. I'm a very smart boy. I'm so smart. Class has ended for today and it's raining, therefore I can go hang out with that fox. I'm gonna go pet a fox that I met in the wild. Sounds like a smart thing to do. Definitely won't bite me and give me rabies. Get your ass out of here, fox. I need you to make you, I need to make you like me so I don't have to pay that much. So that grinding in between these streams would be way easier. Next time you guys come here, I'm gonna be like level fucking 60. Fox looks at the offertory box and seems pleased. If rumors of the shrine uh, benevolence spread, more people will come and make offerings. How? You can sense the fox's gratitude. Level six, nice. Since your relationship with the fox has grown stronger, it will give you a discount. Nice. Pass some time with the fox. It's getting late. You decide to go home. The fox just sitting outside getting wet in the rain and you're just like, eh, whatever. Welcome home. Hi, Nanako. Sorry, I had to yawn. Alright, mm. Well. Let's see. What do I need for you? Expression needs to be enthralling. Aww. Damn it, Nanako. I'm head outside. Gonna head shopping district. Um, north. Hilton board. Tutor. Let's see. Requires high understanding. Uh, boost your expression. That's what it is. Okay, no, I don't have that. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, stop looking at the bulletin board. Go. Oh, Alright. Um, I guess I'll just keep working on understanding then. Not understanding, uh, expression. I mean, I could read the book, 
right, but what books do I have on me? Read. The ramen way, which gives me what? Knowledge and expression. Ooh. I mean, it's four chapters. Mm, I'll think about it. I want to get that speed reading book. That's what I want to do. But it's not available yet, I think. Besides, translate. Had a hard time translating. Expression increased. Counter a sentence that seems to be written for a child. Right as a child would. Ended up wasting time looking for infant words. I go fuck yourself. 2,000 bucks. Uh... Uh, you have the day off of school today. You wonder how the police investigation is progressing. All you can do now is wait for the results. What should you do? I don't know. Let's see if Yosuke is available. Or Marie. Or Marie. Gotta do that. Can't forget about that. Uh, go into the evening? Yes. Sometimes I get lost in menus, okay? I, I just need to flip through them sometimes. It's a weird habit that I have. Don't make fun of me for it. Or make fun of me for it. <laughs> All right, Marie's available. Nice. New books have arrived. Sweet. Uh, gardening, man of history, and no speed reading. Got it. All right, Marie, let's hang... Oh, wait, hold up. Yeah, I'm going inside. Let's go, Marie. Fuck. Check compendium. View. Eon. There we go. Eon, Aeon, wherever the hell. Oops. <laughs> I forgot. Once she walks in, you have to talk to her. I forgot about that. Check on dwellers. Listen to Marie's request. Oh, Marie. Margaret. Yeah, I know, Margaret. Don't worry, I'll get you. Huh? Oh, you're here. Hey, I have somewhere I want to go today. Seems Marie wants to go somewhere. It won't deepen just yet. Well, yeah, go. I gotta hang out with you one time, but, you know, Brise's here, so it's all good. We can officially max out her social link now, because Rize's here. You spent some time having fun with Marie. Really? <laughs> Your relationship will become closer to... <laughs> I'm twisting up my own tongue. I also want to point out, during this whole entire stream, in the background, it's just been having Criminal Minds playing. It's just playing it. <laughs> Alright, uh, either work on expression or head outside to do something. There's nothing I can really do. There's nothing I can prepare for. <sighs> I should really work on expression then. I guess. Work. Translate. Make some money out of doing it too. Can't read handwritten sentence. Speculate from context. Aha! How much money do I get? 10,000? 12,000? Damn right. I'm making money, baby. Making bank. Today's Ocean Day. What the fuck does that mean? Is it like. Earth Day? You wonder how the police investigation is progressing? It's not. That's the answer. Let's see if I can hang out with Marie again. I should really start hanging out with Kanji now that I think about it. Yeah, I should do that. Oh. Eh. Mm, mm, mm. Yo, Kanji, you available, man? Kanji's not available. What about Yosuke? What the hell is your... Your shit at, Yosuke. You're at six. Yeah, I should start hanging out with you a little bit more. Uh, Marie, I'll be back for you. <laughs> Just gotta, you know. 
Yeah, okay. I have a magician with me, yeah? King Frost, no. Phoenix, no. No, no, no. Wait, are you a, ma are you a magician? No, you're priestess. I don't... I don't think I have a magician with me. You're... Devil? Sun, yeah, of course. You're not a magician. You're chariot. You're strength. Yeah, I have no magician with me. Hmm. I should go and grab that then. Mantador is death. And though you're emperor and you're hermit. I only had you so I can put you in uh, my compendium. Let's see. Not using devil right now. Or death. Yeah, I'm going inside, Marie. Come on. Come on, girl. Alright, let's see. Well, let's not do that. Alright, uh, Hermit. Mixing with the... Oh, it makes you a Poe. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> Wrong one. Temperance, Justice... Oh, Nanako's Justice. I was like, Justice? <laughs> um, man, a lot of Mantador going on over there. Sun, Justice again, Priestess. Mm -mm. Well, I have two chariots. Wait, no, I don't have two chariots. I'm thinking Titan is a fucking chariot. I'm level 31. Let's see, what can I make? Got a devil. Jack Frost. Don't need it. Hmm. Moon. It's not worth it. I'm trying to see if I can just fuse them and, you know dump their asses. It's a new persona, right? I don't I don't have that one in my oh wait, that's justice. Why the fuck would I? Alright, you know what? Instead of trying to do it the smart way, let's do it the my way. Just look at whatever, infuse whatever. I need a magician, so he will put oh wait, well Yeah. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, you're fine. Why not? Swift Strike, Mamudo. Mamudo. Hmm. Media, Takunda. And eh, it doesn't matter. It's not like I'm going to be actively using you. I'm Hiwa Po. I'll do my best, so please let me stick around. Listen, do your job. Maybe I won't throw you to the wolves. Right. What else can I fuse that I'm not using? Into more bullshit. Let's see. Devil and Sun. Hero font. Hmm. I don't want a hero font. Devil and strength. Oh wait, I just got rid of that motherfucker. God damn it. There's no point in making you really. I guess. Well, I'm gonna need a move down the road, maybe. Maybe. Rakunda. Don't fuck up my fusions, Igor, unless you're gonna make something awesome. Which, probably not. Probably gonna give me something stupid. Alright. Cool. Um, uh, Moon and Hermit makes Tatiana. Empress, which I don't really need, but eh, whatever. I like giving them Rakunda. It gives me options. Uh, Udo. I am Tatiana. I'll lend you my power. Thank you.
Tatiana. It makes Mantador. It makes Guy again. Mm, 14, 27, 20. What does this make again? Mantador. I already have Mantador, but I don't have Gigan. Gigan's Priestess, I'm gonna get a big boost from this. What are you weak against? Fire. Great. Let's see. Um. Magaru? And. Rakunda. Thank you. Get my slice. Panic boost. Meteorama, that's a good one to have. Gonna be using that later. Let's see. Ooh, Yaminoto Orochi. Weak to fire, null against two, weak to win. Hmm. Alright, I'll think about it. We can make power. Plus five. Weak to electricity. Let's see. That makes Phoenix. Gudon. Ooh. Ooh. Pop a like. Papa Bear likes what he sees. Alright. I started fusing things willy-nilly, but eh, it's okay. Hang out with me, Yosuke. Yo. It's gonna become closer. Right. Nice. Let's get that rank up, buddy. Juna's Food Court. You came here with Yosuke for a quick bite to eat. So, what you gonna eat today? Food. Hey, Hanamura. What is it today? How come Kazumi can take off, but we can't? Huh? We told you before we can't work Saturdays. So when we refused, they said we were gonna, uh, they were gonna fire us. I don't get this. Hey, I talked to the manager. Senpai, have you two been taking absences without leave lately? I just forgot to come. Besides, that's not the point. What, what are you going to do about this? I have a date that day. How come you're favoring Kazumi, huh? You were like that with Saki, too. Huh? Don't try to hide it. We all know. You like Saki and treated her special. I don't think Saki-senpai has anything to do with this subject. Yeah, it does. You told the other workers to take it easy on Saki, too, didn't you? You think you can do anything just because you're the manager's son? He thinks he can do anything because he's the manager's son. But yet, you two are walking up to him, going, I need you to do this for me. You're the manager's son. So is Kazumi now? That's, uh, what? Oh, so is Kazumi now that Saki's dead? Don't even bother. She has a boyfriend. Didn't you get it? Saki didn't like you. We heard so much from her. She may have acted that way, but... They started to badmouth Saki, senpai. Hey. Shut up. You? Who are you? You shut up. Oh, you're making it violent. In this, in this event, if you choose I feel bad for Saki, you unlock an exclusive option in the next event. Hmm. Now, listen. I've played Persona 4 multiple times. And I still don't know everything about the game. I feel like that's a trap. <laughs> I, feel like, I, feel like it, I feel like that's like, do it, and then bam, reverse social link. And I'm like, oh. You're the ones who shut up. Oh, oh no. What do you know about Saki Senpai? She didn't do things half-assed like you. She looked lazy, but she worked hard. She talked bad, but she was good inside. 
So she hated me. I knew that. She's not here anymore. I'm left behind. Just leave me alone. What the hell? Let's go. Damn, Yosuke, you good, man? I just blurted that out. <laughs> blurted out a bunch of crap, huh? Feel better now? I know how it is. No, I fucking don't. You were just upset. Hey, man, you feeling better now? I don't know what to choose. No, I'm more confused than ever. Yosuke has a self-mocking smirk on his face. Damn, another pathetic display from Yosuke, huh? Thanks, though. Thanks. Hearing you say that stuff to them, it made me happy. Fuck yeah! You feel your relationship with Yosuke has grown deeper. I, I love you. <laughs> Don't you fucking do it. Don't you do it. Not BSing, it's a thing? Okay. I thought you were like, thought you were like, you know, hinting to the cut scenes or whatever, where Yosuke was supposed to be a romantic option. And he's like, I, I love you. <laughs> Yosuke's determination battle has been enhanced. <sighs> well, I guess we're not going down that route. What's the options for that? I don't want to. I really don't want to, but I'll go talk with Dad. At this rate, those two are going to quit. I should tell him and apologize. I don't know what to do. Uh, what do I want to do? I don't get it, even though it's my own future. Sorry, and I'll see you later. Well, let's just hope that you don't turn out like Junpei, all right? Basically, you get to hug him. Oh, really? <laughs> I'd rather punch him in the face. Welcome home. What do you dream of doing? <laughs> what do guys like dreaming of doing? Battling out on the rooftop? <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Um What the hell am I doing? Trying to think it through. What the hell did I get from Yosuke? He takes a mortal blow from me now? I think that's what I got from him. He's at rank 7. Let's see. Uh, work. Yeah. Gotta get that expression up. Might as well make some money while I'm doing it. First term finals begin today. You continue until the weekend. You should hurry to school. I'm a fucking professor. Listen, I got this. Smart as fuck. Finals, day one. What is morale? Is cheerfulness in a group? Mm -mm 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 -mm. What is the sport? I can die. It is the balance beam. Alright. It said that even Kobo made mistakes in writing. Which kanji? Oh, shit. It's this one. Wait. It's this one. Yeah! In which period did Japan first implement bonus pay? Oh, go. Mm, damn it. Mm. Uh huh. I got this. I got this. No, I don't. No, I don't. Damn it. Major era? Yeah! Finals Day 3. Which king in the deck of cards is missing a moustache? It is the king of hearts, I believe. Uh, yeah! Who said this? Man is but a reed and blah 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 blah. That was Pascal. 
All right. I kind of I kind of hesitated on that one. I'm not gonna lie. The moment I said it and it came out of my mouth, I went, "Oh, I'm wrong. I'm so wrong." Finals day four. Which one of these is the name of the Piss Piss River? What is the beginning of, oh shit, a reference to? U.S. Declaration. I better be number one in this goddamn class. Oh my goddamn armband from Nanako. It's the last day of exams. You answered every question with ease. The answer seems to be flowing from your hand. Well, I am a bit of an expert. Ah, it's all over. <sighs> I'm so sleepy. Yuck! Don't yawn in my face like that. Chia, you're all the way over there. Unless this boy got some rank ass breath, you're fine. If anything, I should be complaining. Hey, for the third question on the English test, which phrase did you choose? Um, oh, I went with used to. Oh, wrong again. So much for Chia going abroad. Heck, why leave Inaba? You have so much right here. Wow, that's pretty depressing, Yosuke. <laughs> Yo. Sup? No more encores. I mean, hi everyone. Whoa, more losers? What do I need to know English for? I can always ask for a translator. Alright, you fucking rich bitch. God damn it. How did you do, senpai? Fucking excellent. My pen was on fire, baby. That shit was going. You're amazing. You're damn right I am. Enough about the exams already. What's going on with the murder case? Hmm. Why don't we head to our special headquarters? <laughs> she says in English. Well, I mean, uh, <laughs> it's funny because she says it in English, but it's like, it's the, you know, it's the Metal Gear Solid 3 thing where it's like, technically, the whole entire time they're speaking in Russian. <laughs> The entirety of Metal Gear Solid 3, they're speaking in Russian. It's just translated for our ease. But people die when they are killed. <laughs> I love that. You decided to get together. Yeah. They they do the same thing in Persona 5, right? With Ryuji. He's like, I don't even understand English. <laughs> I'm kind of bummed. Not just because exams are over, but the whole thing with the police finding a suspect. I mean, we believe that only we could solve this case. And now? Well, we still don't know yet. They haven't made an arrest. So, we gotta sit on our thumbs. That kid runs like a jackass. Out loud. It's nice to have a suspect, but where the hell is he? We're at the end of our rope here. You guys, did, did you hear what I said? Nope, not a word. Uh, <laughs> this case is as good as solved. Don't worry, kids. It's only a matter of time before we bring in the suspect. I mean, the guy's kidnapping people at random and slaughtering them. We won't rest until we bring him to justice. Adachi, you kind of got some, like, mean-ass lockjaw going on there. You remind me of Drake of the Nine-Nine Dragons. For real. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get going. Now? I'm really worried. On the other hand, if the police have a search warrant out for the guy, we should stay out of it. Yeah. Seems like a smart idea. But when's the last time we did something smart? Oh, uh, I just remembered. There was a question on the exam that I didn't get. I think it was the chemical formula HCHO, used for silver mirror reactions. Its 40% solution is known as formalin. Oh? Uh -huh. And the question was... What is HCHO? Uh, uh, C is carbon, right? Hydrogen, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. That's what I'm looking at. Uh, formaldehyde? Oh, I see. I chose acidic acid. Duh, of course it couldn't have been vinegar. Was I right about that? <laughs> Shit. 
Hold up. Wait, wait a minute. Hold up. Was it formaldehyde? I gotta look this up. Hold up. What the hell is this? It is formaldehyde! Fuck yeah! Hey, you had that question too, didn't you, Kanji? Shut up. Don't call me by my first name. Wow, kinda harsh, aren't you? I heard you got a nosebleed when you were around our senpai. Hey! Who the hell blabbed about that? Uh, anyways... Oh, what the fuck, Chie? Risa-chan, why don't you ask Yukiko to help you study? Hmm? I guess, but wouldn't you rather ask a senpai of the opposite sex? Sex? Senpai, I'm not a nuisance to you, am I? I am neutral. Damn. <laughs> she says as my two girlfriends are just sitting right there. <laughs> Unbeknownst to this either one of them. Dangerous. But let's change the subject. Hey, any idea how Teddy's doing? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention it to you. Check this out. It's Teddy. I let him stay at my place. In return, he's now our official store mascot. How the fuck did your parents- what? Ah, so he's hiding in plain sight. Reverse psychology, huh? Shut the fuck up, Kanji. Man, he looks like one happy bear. He kept saying that he didn't want to go back, so I made him a deal. Now, since I've got nothing better to do, I'm gonna go bug him. Ooh, I wanna go too! Hey guys, wanna go fuck with Teddy? Can I... feel his soft fur? Kanji, I'm still not over the fact that you're 15 with a goddamn widow's peak. Hey, senpai? Your life is fucked, dude. Now that I'm getting the hang of school, I wanna go out more and see the sights. But I tend to get recognized everywhere I go, so I'm a little nervous about going out on my own. Everywhere we go, people wanna know who you are. So we tell them you are Rize. And you seem like the type of guy who knows all the cool spots in town. <laughs> I, I, I know a few places. Really? Woohoo! You sense Rize's. Oh God, I was about to call it Rize. You sense Rize's natural, easy friendliness. You feel a faint bond forming between you and Rize. First place, my bedroom. <laughs> that, oh, my bad. I forgot to read it. That are Tai Am Thou. That has established new bond. It brings you close to the truth. That shall be blessed when creating personas of lovers arcana. Great. Since her determination, she will now cheer you on during all out attacks. When performance all attacks, there's a chance Rize will encourage your party dealing even more damage. If you ever have some time to kill, think of me, okay? Now come on, let's go pester Teddy. Teddy, hey! Rize's the type of girl you see hanging around fucking hip hop helicopter <laughs> from the Proud Family. Hip hop Tonight, helicopter. We have a the topic is the bizarre serial murder case in Inaba, where the victim's bodies are discovered hanging upside down. Police have yet to announce any progress in the investigation since the discovery of a third victim. Our special report tonight is a summary of the events and the facts in the case thus far. There seems to be no information about the suspects. They still haven't caught him? I'll protect you, Nanako. No one will. Okay. Yeah. You promise, right? Yeah, I'll shoot them with my non-existent gun. Maybe I'll just take Naltos. Nanako seems to be anxious about the unsolved case. All right. I look at this box on the table. And I always think it's like fucking Cheez-Its or something. I don't know. Um, I should really save this. Alright, how is my stats looking? Ooh, alright. Brave, generous. I'm lacking understanding by a lot. Eh, how much 
much money do I have? Ooh, 12. Yeah, the day off from school. Great. Alright. I want to start hanging out with Kanji because I'm going to use him in the next dungeon. I know I'm going to use him in the next dungeon, so I got to start hanging out with that boy. With that super tall boy. I have, I still have King Frost with me, that's cool. Alright. Go to town? Hell yeah. Well, before that... Eh. Uh, let's see. Yeah. How you feeling? Oh. It's you. Save me when to talk. It's gonna become closer soon. Alright. Give me a second, Adachi. Give me a second. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see what, uh, is going on over here. Kanji, are you available? Please say no. Haha! -ha! Cool. I will now leave the shopping district. Head to Junez. Head to Junez, run right past Yosuke, hang out with a dodge. Oh. <laughs> you sure have a lot of time on your hands. I feel like I kept seeing you around. But I guess that's what it's like for high schoolers. Enjoy it while you can. I'm busy enough, thanks. Huh? Oh really? Well, can't be that busy, you're just a kid. You'll see when you're in you'll see when you're in the workforce. You have to talk to lonely old women. Hmm. Where did you go, Toru chan? This is bad. Aw oh, jeez, not again. Did she bring me more Nimono? I'm right here, mother! Oh, I'm right here, mother. Did you finish your shopping? I surely did. Let's go home. You're here for the first time in ages. I have to. Oh, why, hello, detective. Torichan, this is Adachi-san. He's a police detective. Hello. I heard you being good to my mother. This is Taru, my son. He's in town to see me. <laughs> well... I'm really here for my job. I have to go back in a few days, though. That's pretty fucking depressing to say right in front of your elderly mother. Well, I'm not really here for this old bitch. I'm here for my job. Don't make an old woman sad, dear. Though it's good to know you're working hard. Torichan? Uh, Torichan works at trading companies. Takes a lot of business trips overseas. So young, and he's already a manager. <laughs> Come on, mother. We're probably getting in the way of his work. Let's go home. You hear their conversation as they walk away. I'm gonna make lots of your favorite Nimono. That's great. Make sure the the rent the Rincon Rin, mm. I I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> it's a little tough. Of course, dear. The voices fade away. Guess it doesn't have to be me. So that's the real one. We don't look at we don't look a thing like each other. We're not even close in age. I think the only thing we have in common is our names. But as long as he's here, I don't have to talk to her, so that's relief. Hmm. What a miserable old woman! Good for you, I guess? <laughs> I won't have to do all that overtime. I wish she moved in with her son. Thought she's smiling. I like being alone. It's easy. It lets me do whatever I want. Hmm. Doesn't it get lonely? <laughs> I never said it doesn't. I just said it was easier. Adachi's smiling. My son likes her... Her rent... Her rent... Her, her, I don't even fucking know. Huh. <sighs> what is he thinking? My own mother used to make Nimono with tough... Rent... 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 Rikon? Rent... Rent... Whatever. I hated it then too. I always left it on my plate and no one said anything. It was just too tough. She probably didn't know I didn't like it. Well, listen Adachi. I know the feeling. Every Thanksgiving... Fucking, here's the potato salad. And then I go like, what the fuck is this? And they're like, it's potato salad. And I'm like, why is there relish in it? They're like, you always put relish in potato salad. I'm like, no the fuck you don't. <laughs> Monsters. Hidachi seems a little bit sad. You feel like you understand Hidachi a bit more. 
Stop putting relish in the fucking potato salad. Stop it. Nobody does that. That's fucking weird. Hey. Adachi. So here you were. <sighs> ah, Dojima-san. Oh, shit. Oh, it's you. Don't waste your time playing with high schooler... High schoolers? Don't, play, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Don't waste your time playing with high school kids. Let's go. Sorry. Sorry he kept you like that. Go on home. Hey, wait! Dojima-san! Did he just apologize for me? We'll see ya. Dojima-san's waiting. Oh, he's such a happy little dog. <laughs> Dojima-san's waiting. I must go to my master. Welcome back. Alright. Hi, Nanako. Uh... Maybe there's something I can get at the, um... At Aya's. Mm mm mm. And a ten. Why am I walking there? What's wrong with me? Uh, understanding will increase. I can do that. I need some understanding, anyways. Come on. There you go. Eat it up. Understanding has increased. Thank you. It'll be 800. Motherfucker. Oh. I just remembered. Oh, fuck. Damn it. <laughs> oh, damn it! Oh. Have you seen the weather report? It's raining going to lift in the afternoon, but they'll say it's going to rain all day tomorrow. Wouldn't it be a good idea to check out the Midnight Channel in that case? The culprit's already wanted uh, wanted by the police, but he's someone the police can't handle to begin with. Let's check it out. Yes. Let's let everyone else know too, okay? No problem. I totally forgot. I don't think I went and got the, uh, the request from the dog. Uh, the request from the dog. The request from the, uh, fox. Hey, everyone! They posted the test results! Fuck yeah. PC port, what's wrong with you? Stop freezing all the fucking time, okay? Awful moment of truth. Oh well, wanna check it? I could've easily just recorded this off of my fucking Vita, but whatever. You got the highest score. You're damn right I did. Whoa, you're a genius. Excuse me? Use my official title, Professor. Thank you. That's awesome. I'm just as happy as if I got the highest grade myself. You better be. Now Dojima's gonna have to pay me money. Ah, we're finally free! Hey, why don't we go somewhere during summer vacation? My motorcycle's back from the shop. Hey, you guys have motorcycles? Lucky you. Your scooter's fixed? I'm surprised they got it back together after Hanako senpai, wasn't it? <laughs> Man, that was... Dude, it wasn't even that she crushed it, that's funny. She fucking jumped off of it and kicked it down and she said, Oh, get a better one. <laughs> it's like, oh. Come on. Did something happen with Yosuke and Hanako-san? He's striking out with the ladies and got his scooter busted up. Whoa! Yosuke's after Hanako-san? Uh, I'll back you up. Oh, what the fuck, guys? <laughs> I wasn't talking about anything like that. Man, they hopped on that real quick. She said, I'll back you up. I was saying we should go somewhere over summer vacation, like the beach. It'd be a pain to go by train, but a motorcycle. Hmm, I haven't been to the beach in a long time either. Bright sun, the glistening waves, that luscious scent drifting from nearby stands, the dripping of meat juices. The dripping of what now? Is food all you can think about? Hey, why don't we get our licenses too? It's just a written test, right? We can't, we're too young. Oh, sorry, Kanji, but my birthday was last month, so I'm 16 now. 
Still not legal. Hey, that's cheating. Oh, but sitting behind Senpai sounds great too. I want to squeeze in close. Yeah, yeah, let me remind you that it's against the law to have two people ride on a motorcycle. You cock blocking son of a bitch. But I think it's a good idea for you guys to get your licenses. It only takes about a week. It's supposed to be for work, but there's a scooter at the inn. We got one as a gift at the office that's just sitting around. I bet I could borrow it if I asked. Yosuke, you're supposed to be my partner, my wingman, my dude, my guy. Fucking pop idols all like, man, I want to squeeze you from behind. And you're like, uh, 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 against the law. I'd have to call my manager, though. Fuck your manager. Huh. Is this actually working out? How about you, Chie? A scooter, huh? It can be any kind as long as it's lower than 50 cc's. <laughs> it can be any kind as long as we can play it in Mario Kart. Then I might be in luck. One of our relatives loves motorcycles. Maybe he has a scooter I can borrow. Wow, this might really happen. Let's all get our licenses and hit the beach together. Hold up, what about Teddy? Hmm, if he doesn't move around, he could pass his luggage. Uh, it's stretching a little. Yeah, Teddy's fucking big, dude. It'll be fine. If we can't get him on with one of us, we'll just strap on some wheels and tow him. <laughs> What's so funny? Teddy? <laughs> on wheels? <laughs> Roller skates? <laughs> it's perfect! I've made up my mind. I'm gonna get my license. The beach, huh? I've gone before for pinup shoots, but it's been a while since I went for fun. Oh my gosh. Does this mean I'll get to see Reset herself in a swimsuit with my own two eyes? With my own two eyes? Maybe not talk about her like she's not here? Yeah, Yosuke, you kind of fucking... Come on, dude. Hey, who are you looking forward to seeing in a swimsuit, senpai? You just like to see the world burn, don't you? Hmm. I am neutral in this matter. You cannot bring me into this. <laughs> I, I can't. I got two. I got two girlfriends right here. They don't know what's going on. You're not. You're a devil. Kanji, no question. Well, mine's nothing special. Crotch is thin and built for speed, so. Hold it right there! Why in the world are you interested in Kanji's swimsuit? Cut that out, damn it! <laughs> Listen, Yosuke, you should be happy, Mr. Cockblocker. Alright? Mr. It's against the law. Shut the fuck up. Anyway, looks like we're set on going to the beach. Yukiko, Chie, you guys should get your licenses too. Then you can ride motorcycles with us. Well then, let's do this! Yeah! Huh? Oh, yeah! Why'd you stutter, Yuki? What the hell was that about? Seems you'll all be going to the beach with everyone. Classes have ended for today. You have no choice but to wait until progress is made. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Yosuke. Make up your damn mind, Yosuke. Do you want to help me or not? Alright. Um, we can now start hanging out with Rize. Uh, also leave the school. I'm gonna... I said I wanted to hang out with Kanji, right? Shit. <coughs> Let's see if Kanji's available. I'm gonna need him in for the next dungeon. Uh... It's a practice building. Kanji! kanji -ki. Uh, He's not here. Alright, well then, I'll see if I can hang out with Murray. Really? Marie's not available either? Oh my fucking Jesus Christ. Alright, well, Yosuke's available. I think I'm gonna use him for the next dungeon. I'm gonna have to level him up a bit, though. Mister, I'm level 16. He's got a lot of work. Got a lot of work cut out for that boy. Hmm. 
Let's see. Uh, thanks, man. No problem. Tamagawa Riverbank. I wandered here with the pensive Yosuke. Yosuke is holding something. I found this. It's a print club sticker I took with Saki Senpai. When I first got here, she insisted on taking it. Back then, somewhere inside me, I thought I was above this place. A lot of people saw me as the enemy because Junez was going to ruin the shopping district. But, when I met her, she told me, Parents are parents. You're you. Even if she didn't really mean it, it made me happy. Because of her, I started to think maybe this town wasn't all that bad. But then... She dumped your ass? No. She died? Why? Why did she have to die? It pisses me off. It makes me mad. I wanted to talk with her more. I wanted to get to know her better. But... She's not here anymore. Yosuke is sobbing out loudly. You... I get it now. I wanted to forget about Saki Senpai. How she's not here anymore. I wanted to forget that I was living a boring life in the middle of nowhere. When the murder started, I got excited. I thought there was finally a point to being me. I thought I could forget Saki was gone and the fact that I was such a loser. I jumped at the murders and never once thought about what I was doing. I didn't even take the first step. I'm sorry, Saki. I'm sorry, you. Hmm. Yeah. Yosuke nodded with red eyes. But I think I'm awake now. I need to get over the fact that Saki Senpai isn't coming back. That's when this case ends. I'll have nowhere to run. And I won't have changed. You made me realize that. It seems you were able to act as Yosuke's crutch. You feel a bond between you and Yosuke. Rank 8. Nice. Yosuke Hanamura's social link has reached level 8. Yosuke's growth of heart has affected his persona as well. Diorama. Get rid of Dia. I call it the Diorama. My bad. Diorama. Whatever the fuck, man. Here's my Diorama. It pulls out a fucking a small scale model of Junaz. It's been a while with Yosuke and walked him back home. Nice. Oh, Yosuke, you're very sad. I also fucked up some of the words in there. But, uh, whatever. Welcome home, big bro. Hi, Nanako. How you doing? Uh... What's he at? Eight. He's at eight. Alright. Uh, I'll head to Ayo's. You know what? Never mind. Nope, nope, nope. Come back. Come back. I won't head to Ayo's. If I head to Ayaz, I'll probably be spending more money than I need to. Should save that for the next dungeon. Especially since I'm going to be grinding for a bit. I'm going to try my best not to waste a day. I'm going to just translate more. I need that expression up. 4,000. Nice. They don't even show me doing it no more. That sucks. Fuck! I didn't get the request from the fox again! Damn it! Overheard students talking. Summer vacation starts tomorrow. Too bad it's raining. The forecast said it's going to be the last until... E uh, what? It's going to be the last. It's going to last until evening. Well, it'll be... It'll let up... God damn, I can't read. It'll let up by tomorrow morning. I wonder if we're... I wonder if we'll have a nice day. Clear summer skies tomorrow. Oh, well. It's not like I had any plans or anything. I guess I could watch Tanaka's Amazing Commodities... And see if there's anything I want. I don't know what it's about that show, but I always end up buying something. 
It's like, uh, it's that one that goes, over the airwaves to you. I am Duffman. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Simpsons recently, okay? All right. I understand that you're all excited about vacation, but we're having the end of terms assembly in the gym now. I won't say anything mean like someone I know, but please, do what you're told. I'm excited about summer vacation too. I already brought my swimsuit. Not that it's got that much material to call it a swimsuit. Mm. Well, enjoy your summer vacation, everyone. Oh, and don't forget to do your homework, okay? I'm not doing shit. You can't make me. All right, closing ceremony, you have no choice but to wait. All right, well, I'm gonna run over before I forget again. Uh, Shrine, I don't, I don't know why I had a moment there. I also gotta keep checking the time because I've been streaming for a while. We're, we're approaching the six hour mark, holy shit. Uh, talk to me. Talk to me. What's up, Fox? What you got for me? I wish I was better at speaking. Alright, cool. Don't we all wish we were better at speaking? I wish I didn't grow up in the fucking ghetto so I knew how to speak correctly. I tend to slur my words a lot. Slur them. All right. Hmm. Back to the high school. It's a rainy day, so I'm pretty sure I can't talk to her. And I think she would be hanging out on the roof anyways. Um, why the fuck did I come here anyways? Going to town. There's really nothing I can do. Guess I'm just gonna head to Aya's. Aya's. Try my best not to spend too much money, but I mean, it's such a good offer, I can't pass it up. Alright, give me my stats. What do I got? Knowledge. Courage. Diligence, all the things that I don't need. Thanks. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Hi, Nanako. Before I forget, give me my reward. Well. This answer is hard. You should leave her alone. Oh yeah, that's how you got the best score in school. Incredible. I made this. Here you go. Thank you. My fucking armband. <laughs> <laughs> no one can have it but me. Get rid of this bat charm. Yeah. Plus five to all my stats. Thank you, Nanako. You're the best. Now I just gotta remember to get the money from Dojima. Hmm. Uh. Midnight Channel, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, it's the fucking. Ah, oh, it's the summer! Since I'm not going to be in fucking Yasugami High, I won't be able to fill, uh, do the goddamn fox shit. God damn it. Someone appeared. It's an extremely vivid image. A boy is standing with his back against the wall. What you gonna do by standing on the wall? Get your back down off the wall. You all think you can see me? You all think you know everything about me? I don't want to know nothing about you. <laughs> then try and catch me. Get your back down off the wall. Who is that? I don't fucking know. Yeah, some creepy ass dude. Who was that guy? I don't know him. Have you ever seen him on the news or some television special? He seemed really gloomy. Like a zombie. 
Yosuke! Yosuke! All right already, I hear you. Sorry, I'm gonna give the phone to Ted. <laughs> Yosuke sounds like someone you would hear on Xbox Live or something, just like yelling at his brother or something. <laughs> Stop! I'm playing the game! Sensei, it's me, Teddy! <laughs> you gotta get off the game. Mom said it's my turn to play. I finally got to see the Midnight Channel with my own eyes. Now I know exactly what's happening. That guy's suppressed emotions are resonating with the other side, which are picked up by the TVs over here. Wow, Teddy, your fucking IQ just went up by like fucking 50 points. What the fuck did you just say to me? It's clear now that it's not being filmed by anyone. Mystery solved. But that kid, he must already be inside the other world. What are we gonna do? We're gonna go in. Gotcha. I knew I could count on you, Sensei. You can sense Teddy strong trust in you. I think my heart skipped a beat. All right, keep it to yourself. Teddy social link has reached level only level three. What? I thought it was higher than that. Okay. Teddy's determination battle has been enhanced. It fucking better be. Teddy can now perform a follow up attack during battle. That's enough, Ted. Give me the phone. Hey. Inside. What happened to the blurry image that we usually see in advance? And did you hear what he said? Try and catch me. <sighs> I watched that movie. It was good. Well, that's not what the movie's called. It's called Catch Me If You Can with fucking Tom Hanks and Leonardo DiCaprio, but it's a pretty good movie. Now that I think about it, he looked like a high schooler. Hey, could he be? Nah, I better not jump to conclusions. Let's meet up at headquarters tomorrow. All right? Later. I don't like that we call a food court our fucking headquarters. It feels lame. Can we have like a tree house or something? It's Chie. What's up, girl? Oh, I finally got through. Yosuke's line was busy too. I was just talking to Yukiko. Was that? You, you, uh, I about to say recuperate. You recapped your conversation with Yosuke and Teddy for her. Night, GA. Thanks for calling. You decided to go to bed early. It's summer break. Hell yeah, you promised to meet up with your friends at the food court. You should hurry over there. Damn it. Okay, Risa and Teddy are checking out the other side. So we'll go ahead and start the meeting. Now, about what happened last night, you guys all saw it, right? Yeah. Shit he said made my blood boil. That mumbling of his and those fish-like eyes pissed me off even more. Oh, so you mean like fucking Billie Eilish. Got it. Who the hell is he? <laughs> that mumbling voice and those fish-like eyes. <laughs> That's her description. Oh, man. Who the hell is he? I don't fucking know, Kanji. Huh. Truth to tell, I get the feeling I've seen him before. I was surprised when I saw how clearly his face showed on TV. So I called Chie, and while we were talking, it hit me. Maybe that boy is the culprit. It's just a hunch, but it makes sense. We've been told the suspect is a high schooler. The police are after him for the murder of King Moron. So to see that on TV last night, at a time like this, I mean, he even taunted the viewers, saying, try and catch me. Uh, so? All right. Let's say there's this high school student. We'll call him Shin. For some random reason, who knows why, Shin is able to enter the other world. Then Shin, again for some random reason, starts throwing people into that world intending to kill them. The police can't prove the other world exists, so it's the perfect crime. He can't possibly be caught. Now, imagine you're Shin, but after a while, people stop dying when you throw them in the TV. You don't know why. You want to kill King Moron, but the TV is out, so you have to do it personally. Now the police are on to you. As a result, you, I mean Shin, is a wanted criminal, and there's no place for him to run. So, you're saying he went into the other world to dodge the cops? Oh, 
So that's why he said, catch me if you can. <laughs> wow, senpai. You're smarter than you look. <laughs> that fucking little laugh he did <laughs> made him sound like a goof. He's like, <laughs> wow, senpai. You're smarter than you look. Jeez, you <laughs> piss me off sometimes. We still don't know why he targeted people who were shown on TV. But if he had a personal grudge against Mr. Moraoka, that explains one thing. With a strong enough motive, wouldn't he forsake the untraceable TV method and try to kill Mr. Moraoka on his own? If you think about it that way, it sort of makes sense why Mr. Moraoka died without appearing on TV. Yeah, but the TV... TV is, like, nigh untraceable. If you really hated someone that much, you would still risk that because even if, you know, even if people didn't die, you still didn't get caught. But I wonder what that boy's going to do now that he's in there. With Teddy on this side, there's no way for him to get out. I mean, and there's no stopping him from hopping inside the TV himself and just shooting. Oh, wait a minute. Puts people on TV, but but maybe you just can't come out without Teddy. Yeah. You don't think he's gonna get desperate and- She just said that, I wasn't paying attention to what she said. <laughs> he did look depressed. Like it was the end of the world. No, I don't think that's it. The killer has to know that the people he threw into the TV have come back to this side. I can see missing Yukiko or Kanji, but Rise, a celebrity? There's no way the killer wouldn't know she's still alive. So that means he knows there's a way out of the TV world. As for the rest, We'll just have to ask him face to face. Wait, speaking about Rize, where the fuck is Rize? Oh, there you are. Hey, good timing. How did it go? Not good. There's not enough information to go on, but at least we're positive that someone's in there. I see. Wait, where's Teddy? He's still looking. All right. So we need to find out who that guy is. And if he is, in fact, the one the police are after. Once we figure that out, we just do our thing. That's right. If he really is the killer and he's escaped into the other world, the police don't have a chance of catching him. So it's all on us. Everyone's heart are united by the desire to solve the case. Together, we are the Feedem Friends. Did it. Or we're doing it, at least. We do it. Well then, let's get digging. It seems you'll need more information on the boy. Then why the fuck do we have Rize and Teddy? You guys are useless. I hope in the next Persona game, whatever the fuck they do, get rid of the whole fucking investigating bullshit and just let me go to the dungeon. I fucking hate that. It's so annoying. It's a waste of time. Um, let's see. Because they still do that in Persona 5 a little bit. Where they're like, we gotta start investigating. And I'm like, oh man. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> Alright, well. I have been streaming for almost six, six hours. It's gonna be six hours in like five minutes. So, this is gonna be it for me. Made a lot of progress. We now have Rize and Teddy on our team. Right? Um, so what I'm gonna do, and since we're super close to the dungeon, what I'm gonna do is off screen, I'm gonna make another save file, right? So that when we get to the dungeon area, we already have some levels up there. You know, try not to, I'm gonna try my best not to skip any days or anything like that. You know, keep it all consistent. And, um, damn, it's pretty much it for me. For, uh, well, not it for me, it for Persona. Um, what is it? Okay, so next stream, if it's not, you know, if I don't stream later today, uh, the next stream will be more Ace Attorney, right? We're coming, we're at like the fourth case on that game, so we're getting pretty close to beating it. Well, not pretty close, that's a lie, that's a lie, but we're, we're like around the, around like maybe the beginning of the third act, maybe something like that so that's what's coming up as for the youtube channel 
Uh, what's gonna go up today is another part of Vampire the Masquerade, right? Uh, more Nightmare Before Christmas, obviously. Corpse Party is finished for, uh, what's called? Blood Drive. Corpse Party Blood Drive. That's finished. So, that whole playthrough's up there. And then once those other, uh, well, there's only like two parts left for, for, uh, what you call it? Vampire the Masquerade. So those are going to go up, that's going to be done, and then Nightmare Before Christmas is going to be around for a little bit. Probably by the end of this month it'll be done. And then hopefully before the end of this month I can finally start that Pokemon Marathon I wanted to do. Because I do have someone working pretty good, uh, doing some pretty good work for the thumbnail. Right, they've already got one of the thumbnails completed for the marathon. Oop, and they just sent me an email, by the way, I just checked it. I'm actually going to look at the draft right now. Give me a quick second. I'm gonna take a quick old peek. Oop, that's the wrong one. Uh, that's the wrong one. My bad. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Um da -da 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 -da. All right, well <laughs> get unfucked up, buddy. Alright, well, they sent me a, a draft of one of the previous pieces of work they done for me. So I'm gonna have to email them and be like, yo, you sent the wrong file, moron. <laughs> but come on. Uh, I was excited as hell too. Alright, well, anyways. That's the plan for the YouTube channel right now, uh, in Twitch. Twitter, I'm trying to be more active on there, you know, so if you want to check that out, that's cool. I guess I make tweets. I'm not famous or anything, so don't expect any, don't expect any, like, inspirational quotes from me or anything like that. But yeah, that's pretty much the plan. So, for those who watched on Twitch, thank you for coming and watching live. I greatly appreciate it. You mean a lot to me. It's nice to talk to you guys, have a little back and forth, that's pretty good. Keeps me on my toes, right? Maybe next time I won't fucking have the game audio muted for like five minutes. <laughs> I did that earlier in the playthrough too, it sucks. Um, so yeah, there's that. For those who are watching the VOD later, if you're not followed, please consider it if you enjoyed it, right? And for those who are watching this on YouTube, come and check out the Twitch, you get to see things early. And then, uh... You know, if you're watching this on YouTube and you're, you're not subscribed, think about it. If you are subscribed, click the bell. And if you liked what you see, click the like button. It helps out a lot. That's how that's how you get more of the thing that you like. You show that you like it. That's how that works. And then the corporations take your money. <laughs> but unlike that, unlike the corporations, I get no money for those. So, not yet anyways. So, um... <coughs> That's going to be it for me. Once again, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care.